the less you have of a valuable resource, the more valuable it becomes, supply and demand. And in a state that is largely deltaic or alluvial in its origins, a few feet, even a few inches in some circumstances of topographic elevation spells the difference between in the case of New Orleans, a neighborhood getting settled in the Napoleonic Age versus the Jazz Age or even the Space Age. So what we're going to do on our field trip is leave from New Orleans here and come um, out of the Mississippi River Deltaic Plain and head uh, into the uh, Pleistocene terraces upon which Baton Rouge is located and then make our way up to the Lust Bluffs of uh, West Feliciana Parish. We are on um, Highland Road at South Baton Rouge and uh, the significance here is if you look at this slope heading down here, uh, this is really the, um, the first true upland as you're coming out of the Mississippi River Deltaic Plain and then climbing up on the Pleistocene Terrace that used to form the edge of the North American continent before the uh, ice sheets melted and all this water and sediment came down the Mississippi to form the Deltaic Plain. If you were here 10,000, 50,000 years ago, the Gulf of Mexico would have been not too far off in the distance there. So as those ice sheets melted, sediment came down the Mississippi, got dumped into the Gulf of Mexico, and over 7,000 years and about seven different deltaic lobes, the deltaic plain formed, and that includes New Orleans. Baton Rouge and New Orleans are separated only by 80 miles, but geographically they're quite distinct in their underlying physical geography and topography. And one of the premier ones is that in Baton Rouge you could stand on the natural terrain and look down on the Mississippi River. You cannot do that in New Orleans. You look up to the Mississippi River blocked by the levee. Um, and so that's the basic distinction of being really at the edge of the Mississippi Valley here where the bluffs and the terrain constrain the river um, from flowing just anywhere. You don't have that in the Delta A Plain. Um, so there is a levee here, but that topographical difference is fundamental. And so for this reason, the Spanish used to have a battery here, an artillery battery, and then in the 1850s, the Old State Capitol Museum was built uh, on this perch. Well, when we started our trip this morning in New Orleans, we were about three or four feet above sea level, and the Mississippi River would have been 12 feet above sea level and blocked by the levee. Uh, by the time we made it to Baton Rouge, that topographic situation had reversed, such that we were up on a, uh, a terrace overlooking the river. Now we're in North Baton Rouge and up on a bluff even higher over the river. Uh, and as we make our way um, to St. Francisville, we'll be even higher. Um, and so you really get a sense that you are no longer on the Mississippi River Deltaic Plain as New Orleans is, but rather at the edge of the mid lower Mississippi alluvial valley. We're in St. Francisville, Louisiana, right at the edge of the Mississippi Valley here. And if you look down over there, that was a community that was called Bayou Sara. And for most of the antebellum age, this was the busiest port between New Orleans and Natchez, much busier than Baton Rouge. Uh, that Bayou Sara it was later washed away by the 1927 flood. But what survived was the part of the town that was on the hill. So so-called so under the hill is where the steamboats and the flatboats stopped. And on the hill was the more prosperous area. And that to this day is the historic district of uh, St. Francisville. So this is called Mount Carmel. There's a beautiful historic Catholic church here called Our Lady of Mount Carmel Church. During the very high water of the Mississippi River in 2011, a few years ago, the Mississippi crawled all the way up to the base of this hill and and we're we're at least a couple of miles from the bank today so it really gives you a sense of what is the meander belt of the mississippi and its floodplain and where it ends where the bluffs begin here <laughs> 